I am going to show you how to start your chapters on individual pages or on their own pages. So, as you know, when you're laying out a book, um, styles, in particular paragraph styles, will be your friend. So, in this particular case, if you notice, the word structure actually starts a new chapter. When I tap on it, you'll notice that chapter is the paragraph style. So, what we want to do is we want chapter to start on its own page, and we want it to start somewhere toward the middle of the page. Here's what you do. There are many ways you can do this, but here's the way I suggest and the way I advise. So, since we want to do this with the styles, we don't, need, we don't even need to select the word itself. We just need to work with the style. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on chapter. I'm going to drop down to where it says keep options. Then I'll say where it says start paragraph. Start paragraph on the next odd page. And I'll say OK. Now, as you can see, that automatically moved the uh, chapter over to its own page. Next up, I want to get it to basically start somewhere toward the middle of the page. And this is kind of interesting. Again, there are several ways to do this, but this is what I recommend. First, I want to show you something. Go up to View, drop down to where it says Guides and Grids, and then Show Baseline Grids. Now, the baseline grids, for the most part, are invisible. And they pretty much start three pikers from the top, by, by default, three pikers or a half inch from the top. But you can change that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the, to the um, InDesign menu, drop down to Preferences, slide down to where it says Grids. And as you can see, it starts typically at 3P. We're going to start it at, say, 18. And that's 18 pikers understood. We'll say OK. And as you can see, the grid actually dropped way down here. All right, let's go back and not, let's hide it because we really don't need to see it. Hide baseline grid. Now we're going to double click on chapter again, and this is the key where it says indent and spacing, align to grid. Right now the default is set at none. We can say first line only. And the minute you do that, there you go. That means every style, every chapter style will A, start on the next odd page and B, it will start or it will align to the first the first line of the actual baseline grid that we moved down. So that's how and I can if I scroll down you can see there it is down there themes next and tie and styles next. So that's how you can basically that's how you can basically start your chapters on the next page. And it could be the next page, it could be the next even page, but of course we want it to be on the next odd page and then we can move it down toward the center of the page. And it's just that simple.